Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 tutorial. This video is a direct follow-up from my previous uh, Nugget to Ingot video. So if you haven't seen that, I think it's a good idea to do that first. Otherwise it might be too much to take in at, at once and it will be just, well, unclear. So let's take a look at what happens if we expand our system to not stop at ingots, but also go up to blocks. As you can see here, I will keep 64 of nuggets and ingots and then just put the rest into, uh, into blocks. And of course this works best because we are auto-crafting and sending. This system works best if we know for sure that we will always have more than 64 in stock. The addition is simply doing the same thing in this tower. And well, first I should go through what I've changed. It looks slightly different from before. These interfaces, they are simply what I had here before. So these nuggets that we keep in stock, 64, they are here. And I tried with wheat and hay bales. It works exactly the same. Wheat. Mm, wheat hay bale and so on and you can see it here as well here. so I added things you can do that just add them on the top of each other I think it is uh, stopping at five assemblers is a good uh, it's a good number because you can reach the top one if you go one higher it will be annoying to reach it and also that the export bus here with one upgrade you get the five so you can have one more before this green network is our channels and after that you need a controller so yeah i i, I think five is a good number okay so the next part is well this interface correspond to that tower and this interface to this tower and uh, we're doing the same thing and it's actually not a problem that we go we have ingots going both down and up because we are here we make sure to order uh, and we make ingots from blocks and we make nuggets from ingots and the rest it is just auto balancing with these storage buses. So we should get locked up in a system where we go up and down, up and down uh, in a, kind of in a, in a loop. We, it should settle and it seems to do that. So of course I have a recipe for, okay, this block of copper to ingot, that's not really the one I wanted here. We have block of gold to gold ingot, nine of them. And then of course we had this from ingot to nugget. But we don't have a crafting recipe, and I mean a, an, <laughs> an uh, auto crafting recipe from nuggets to ingots. That's handled only by the storage bus. And it's not a crafting recipe. So it, should, it will not mess up the auto crafting system. Otherwise, it's a bad idea to have two recipes doing the same thing, but from different items, because you never know what you get. Or you know what you get, but not from what we're getting it from. Okay, so in this stack, or in this tower, I simply have the same filter on insert and extract. I think it's a good idea. Bidirectional. All these things will end up in the chest. Ingots and valuables and from here we simply import acceleration cards and we have the blocks of different types storage buses configured as before insertion and bidirectional this is the same and then we export all these blocks so now let's say that i I remove 64 nuggets and 
you can see that we self-balanced <laughs> and that's kind of fun. You can see them going back and forth and that's because as I explained uh, in the previous video, I think I added it in the text description. Let's say we have eight nuggets here <clears throat> and we'll get one more than that one ingot will go back in the system. It will end up here and then in this assembler and if we had eight here it will be nine so it will be just that final one to go back and forth but it's self-balanced and it always goes downwards so if we remove the ingots we'll take from the blocks and then if we get a few too many they will be turned into blocks if this is filled so now we have only one slot so it might look weird, but it's actually quite logical. And if we insert nuggets, we know that we'll get ingots and we know that the ingots will overflow into, into blocks. You can see them here, slowly going down. And ingots will end up here. And then eventually we'll get a block and that's what's stored. So I think that's a quite compact way of storing in, in case you are, uh, in case you need it, or if you just want it, if you get too much of ingots or nuggets, you can do this. And again, if you don't have other mods to do it for you, but sometimes perhaps you don't. Okay. And I think that was all. It's just a quick update and I think it's actually a fun part. I couldn't come up with any other items that we can craft back and forth. Um, but in a mod pack, of course, you will have plenty of those. Okay, that's it for this short video. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And in any way, I hope I'll see you in the next video. So take care. Bye bye.